Just two days ago, a woman was killed and 20 acres of land scorched after a gas line pipeline exploded in Lincoln County. While many were sending their wishes to those affected, some were left questioning, is this why Birmingham Forest is opposing construction of the lgn &E pipeline? Jesse Cohen joins us now and shares the answer. Jesse, what can you tell us? Well, Paulina, today I spoke with the executive director at Bernheim Arboretum and Research Forest, and he says terrifying realities like the explosion are just one of the many reasons they are pushing back. Just three days ago, lg &E took its pipeline fight one step further. They sued to condemn the land in Bullock County. This being another reason their push to prevent the pipeline is nowhere near finished. The heat. First time in my life I ever had to run for my life. The flames. You could see the, the fire was catching up with us. And the devastation. Our hearts and sympathies go out to those people. An unimaginable reality in Lincoln County, leaving an imprint on those at Bernheim Forest. It was a tragedy. And unfortunately, that worst case scenario happens around the country on a fairly regular basis. It was a reminder the unthinkable does happen, and an explosion could be one of the many potential consequences when a gas pipeline is nearby. That conflagration sets off a forest fire that would burn several thousand acres of our pristine forest. That's another reason we don't want this here. With this in mind, we reached out to LG&E. Safety is our number one priority uh, throughout our uh, business as a whole. The company advancing plans to install a 12-mile natural gas pipeline across Bullock County, part of which is through Bernheim's land. We monitor our natural gas transmission lines from a gas control room 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But Dr. Mark Worms, Bernheim's executive director, says it's not just the risks after construction is complete. Their pushback is also because of the damage that would be done to critical species and wildlife just to install it. There are certain species like golden eagles and black bear and uh, many others that rely on large forest blocks. They will live nowhere else. And also the message it sends. Connecting people with nature, protecting nature for future generations. That integrity is being, is being jeopardized by this project. We asked those with lg and &E why this specific path was chosen. And they said after a root study, it added much needed capacity, reliability for customers, and it was the lowest costing option. The route that was chosen is the route that best met all of those objectives. But Worms feels... If they were to turn around and decide that they could reroute this pipeline and save this conservation land and save these snail populations, save these clean springs and streams that are right in the right of way, they would be national heroes. Now, Bernheim is asking for your help to join their efforts in preventing this project from happening. Head to our website and click on the story to find out how you can get involved. And as per the nine lawsuits filed Wednesday, lg &E has already acquired about 85%, so they are fighting to receive that other 15. I'm Jesse Cohen, 11 at 11.